Governance is not value free. It's not an objective act. It's a bias act. And it is shaped by values. And depending on the values of those in government and their policy choices, depending on who they want to favor and who pays, those remain constant issues, which labor have it be, uh, been able to compel capital and, and the state in history to recognize the right for workers to organize, that they celebrate that freedom, the freedom to act as a collective. So for me, more than anything else, occasions like this, when workers are obviously on the receiving, receiving end, particularly the low paid and the lower middle class, is an opportunity to really uh, remind them that that collective voice they have is not for nothing. Now, governments and businesses are going to have to make hard choices. Those choices will be driven by individual values. Uh, it is possible that a bank, just as an example, who has been posting so much profit over the past five, six consecutive years and distributing huge dividends to their shareholders, are now likely to play up the fact that over the past two, three months, my, my profit margin has dropped and therefore I can't retain my workers. Labor has to remind them that, you know, we didn't just start this business yesterday. It is time to redistribute what you have been saving. Mm -hmm. So the, 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 the May offers opportunity for deep reflection and to take through fresh challenges to deal with the high choices, the, 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 the trade-off that businesses will make, that governments will make, whether at federal or, or state level.